Hi everyone, this is Miss Sim. I am so excited that you are going to be in my virtual science class. Whether you are going virtual or face-to-face, -face, I promise you that this is going to be a great year. So you can probably notice that I'm outside. I'm actually at my son's um, soccer practice, which you will find me often after school. This is where I usually am. So excuse the trees, but it is a nice backdrop. Um, so the first video that I just wanted to share with you um, was to offer you some clarification. There were a few students that had reached out to me and they first, they wanted to know what would the virtual sixth grade science class look like at DeSanta Middle School? And so in order to answer that question, I wanted to explain to you uh, what students that are going to DeSanta face-to-face, -face, what their schedule is going to look like. So this year is, uh, um, is unique because we have expanded our schedule to include block scheduling. What does that mean? Well, block scheduling means that you see fewer classes during the week, but when you do see those classes, the time that you spend in that class is longer. So for example, you might see um, science on Monday, Tuesday, or excuse me, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, except you will spend close to 100 minutes in that class. For the virtual students, because we anticipate that most of you will be coming back, we wanted to align ourselves with those students who are currently going face-to-face. -face. So I wanted to show you and this is also, you will also see this in my other videos where it shows you how to access the classes. But if you look right here in my resources, there's a folder that says week of 813. This is actually tomorrow. If you look in that, in that folder, you'll see that there are two classes or you can call them two lessons. Typically in one week, we, you will see no more than three lessons per week. There at some, of course, there are some exceptions where sometimes you may see four, but typically it'll be between one and three lessons that you are expected to complete within the scheduled time. I had also included a to-do list as well as an expected due date, which you will see in just a moment. I'm gonna scroll down here. And you will see right here that these are the assignments for the first week and they are i gave you also due dates when i expect them to be done that means that you have the week to finish the assignment so you can move ahead i do encourage you though not to fall behind so that is one of the benefits of being a virtual forsyth student um, in sixth grade is that you will see the lessons posted by no later than Monday morning at eight o'clock in the morning. And you can move as fast as you would like. I will also have live help sessions for a minimum of twice per week. I currently have them scheduled for Wednesday morning, uh, excuse me, Wednesday and Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. If you need additional help sessions, you can always reach out to me and I can schedule them by appointment. The only time that's not available for me is during my collaborative planning time that I have with my other sixth grade teachers. So I hope that this information was helpful to you and eased some of your nerves. Please feel free to share this video with your family members so that they are also aware of what to expect as a virtual student at DeSanta Middle School through the Forsyth Virtual Academy program. Thank you, and I cannot wait to get to know you guys better. Bye.